Hey everyone, what is up? It is Crazy Goalie here bringing you a Let's Build. So today I am going to be building my farmhouse for my Feed the World Minecraft video. So, to tell you guys a little bit about it, I'm going to be displaying a few pictures here shortly on what I will be building exactly. Now, I thought I would make a nice little farmhouse a nice brick farmhouse oh look at that what was that huh? oh it's a flying world so guys here we go into the pictures of what i am going to be possibly building so here's one picture of the front another picture of the side back and f inside and the back as well so i know it's all really quick but that is what i'm going to try to do so please enjoy this music while i also build and thank you guys for watching and let me talk to you through what I was thinking. So, here we go. So I chose a, a axe, as you can see. I needed to clear out all the stuff around it. So as I'm going around and clearing out all these trees, I'm also thinking about what I would like to build. So, as you guys saw in those pictures, that I am going to be building a brick house. Now, I thought to myself, what better kind of material am I going to use? Now, luckily, I have Chisel 2 installed. So, therefore, I can actually get some halfway decent looking um, building materials. So, as I'm going around, I'm clearing out this plot of land and area. So, as I'm going through everything in this whole entire video, as you can see, I gotta clear around the clear away all the ground that is all around this area. Now, here we go. Over in a pan here shortly, and a pan cropping view will also do of the land that I cleared out. Now, I don't have any special mod mods or any special things that are able or will let me build such ginormous structures so I had to speed up all this video so you guys can see what I have built so now I know that it may seem a little bit boring but I'm hoping this music in the background and everything sped up Trust me, this was a 40 minute clip that I, that I clipped down to about 20 minutes worth. So, not only am I going to be talking about everything, I'm also going to be showing you. So, here we go with a little nice little plot of land where I plan on building my house on this Minecraft world. So, as you can see, it's nice and flat, a nice flat area, and now we are going to get to the building part. So, let's speed it up again. As you can see, I'm going to choose these bricks. These are very nice bricks, and I thought they would match quite well. So, now as you can see, I'm going to fill in the holes a little bit, make it a little bit more even here. So, you know, I don't have a second account to fly around in. So, here we go. We're going to start off building the very top, or the very front of that building, at least. And if you guys need a reference point on how it's going to look and stuff, please go back into the video just a little bit and just take a quick look at uh, what I'll be doing. So as you can see in the front of the house that I plan on building, it has actually a glass door. It's like all see-through. So now I'm going to sit here and try to figure out where is the middle point roughly. So here we go. We're going to put right here. And as you can see, I put the door right there build out. Now I'm going to come around and start building around and connecting all the trusses basically is what I'm going to be doing. So as I'm going through this I'm also thinking about ahead of time on what I need to do and also toggling the downfall because <laughs> who likes rain during a build. So as you can see I'm filling it out here and now I'm thinking to myself man how am I going to do this? So what I end up doing is I'm going to, you know, i got to build out right here. There's a little roof at the front of the house itself where it actually kind of starts to peak. 
Uh, just not a lot though. So now we're gonna come along here and just start finishing out the back. Now, as you can see here, I'm just gonna fill basically, just get an outline of where my house is currently. So, as we are doing that, I'm also, also measuring on what am I gonna do as far as how am I gonna bring that part of the house somewhat out and how am I going to uh, replicate the effect that it has of the house itself how it has you know the, those peaked roofs and stuff so as I'm thinking to myself I'm like hmm how am I gonna do this but as you can see I eventually add some just regular stone brick stairs and right now currently I'm also thinking to myself man how does this look so I gotta add a little bit more and I cannot get that so I had to go back and I was like wait one second there's still something wrong here so as you can see, I get rid of this block right there, and there we go. Now because the front of the house of the roof starts to curve towards the back, as you can see right here as we do a little nice pan around the house. This is what it's come to so far. Now, granted, I would like to do a little bit more, and I'm going to be doing a little bit more here shortly. So as you guys can see, I am now thinking to myself, man, how am I going to fit these windows? I'm trying to think what it looks like from the front of the house. What is it going to look like? Because there's one little building right here where it ends up being... It kind of, there's like a building in the front and then there's a building behind it that's still part of the house. So I need to get this grounded. So it looks like it's going to connect into a big rear building behind it. You'll see here shortly. As you can see, I'm calculating out how far I need to actually build. So here's the building behind that frontal building part. So now as you can see I'm going around trimming up the edges a little bit right here still trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this look a little bit wider than it actually is. Now as you can see here I end up thinking to myself man I need to bring this out a lot more than I really think I need to. So I end up bringing it out a lot more because this there's this little side building part where you actually need to bring it out a lot more than you would normally do. So I end up built, bringing it out a lot more and just filling it in right now, basically trying to get the look that I'm looking for for that house. Now, I, I'll probably put a photo right above so you guys can see the very front of the house as far as it goes that way you guys know what it looks like so now you can see I need to get my axe out and start chopping away some of these trees because some of these trees are actually blocking the front of the house itself now I'm using a lumber axe this is all in completely creative mode so that way I can get what I need as far as materials and how I need it to look. So here we go, a little round of panorama around the house itself. Now, I slowed down the video, and you'll notice my camera skills are not that great, of course. So, as you can see, I'm trying to get a slow pan around, you know, so you guys can see what I see. Um, I'll probably stick a photo up in the corner, up in the, up in the corner over there, where the map is. Um, quite possibly. Um, I want you guys to know what I'm trying to build at all times. And this is basically just the front of the house. This is, I'm building, starting to build the back. And the back actually has a horse shape or a football goal, uh, American football goal, if you're having a British American football uh, goal uh, shape. Or, you'll see. Um, basically what it is going to look like. So as I'm going through this, I am saying, man, I got to get this even. I got to, you know, this is a really, really complicated build for me. I know it's just a house, but it's just not my house. It is going to be the house that I'm going to be living in. So as you can see, I got to get this back part. And I also got to raise that ground. And I also got to fill, fill in right through there as far as everything that goes inside so now you can see that little football shape that I have going there and I end up coming it back just a little bit more that way I have more room now 
We're gonna do a panorama view here shortly, probably. Just getting basically a look on how it looks. So I decided, you know what? This, the part of the house that is raised, that as you can see, there's actually a window behind that little roof area back there. So what I end up doing is I end up going through this and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, oh my God, how am I gonna build this second floor? Now, as you can see right here, that's gonna be a perfect six by six, or not six by six, but three by three area. So now I'm gonna have to start building the roof, but not here. It's not time, not yet. So now I need to build the little uh, part. Sorry about that, that was my chair. Um, <laughs> I need to build the little part that comes out a little bit uh, from the house itself and kind of has an angle uh, it kind of starts to slope down you'll see here me here me here shortly doing this and I just need to finish out this end of this building right here basically got it got to get it perfect there we go that's perfect now what we're gonna be doing is just basically uh, tapering it down as in if it's sloping um, as you guys saw on the very first picture or as you guys can see right above that map or right at where the map usually is, is that's where I'm gonna be building that little uh, house area. So as you can see, I'm using the terrain to my advantage here. I'm gonna actually be building on the terrain itself. I'm gonna make it, I'm not gonna make this completely flat. I'm not gonna make it, no, you gotta build with the terrain and also toggle the downfall again. So, and I think in this video I've built, I've had at least toggle the downfall at least total three times so as you can see I come across here and I go hmm now how am I gonna want this to look now I'm gonna start raising this bit up a little bit and if you notice any time parts in time that I'm actually gonna start lagging and I realize oh shit I cannot fill in that part right there so I had to end up taking parts away um, and making sure that still has a sloped effect now as you can see, I'm building around here, and I know I gotta put some doors in here. Now, where am I gonna put these doors? There's actually doors <laughs> on the side of this house that are completely glass doors. But you know, I decided I'm not gonna go complete glass doors. I'm just actually going to make two doors right in the center, right where I'm building currently. I'm actually going to um, build just two doors and just make make windows that's all I'm going to do I'm not going to make anything you know uh, real fancy like they have it now I started filling this in and it, you'll see here later in the video then I end up going around and just getting rid of all that area because I just filled it in just so I can get the looks of what I needed to do so as you can see here I'm as you can see that little nice little sloped roof right there and I just fill in right there where that grass was now here we go around the house now I have yet to get the second floor part of it built so as you can see I'm messing around with the camera I'm not really really good with this it would be a lot easier with a second person that way they can just record me building and I can show you guys from a sped up point so you'll notice that I start to build right there in that little sloping area I'm you know I'm thinking to myself as I'm doing this panorama view of this house I'm saying to myself man how am I gonna make this house look like the house in that picture now I have a great idea and my great idea is going to be I'm gonna try to replicate it as much as possible now what I'm going to do for the second floor and every time I lean forward or something in this chair I swear so <laughs> here we go we're gonna start building the middle part now right above where the roof of the house is right where the glass is um, as you can see a little bit laggy there um, and if you guys are also wondering what am I using for the texture pack it's facts um, so now I'm starting to build the second floor here finally we're getting to the second floor and I gotta get this even as possible so as you can see I gotta raise up oh I gotta go up one there we go perfect now we're gonna come right across here and get this started. So, as you can see, I need to get the basically the framework of the second floor built and also do the uh, little effects of the side sloping over there. So now we're just gonna fill this area in right here and get that started. 
So now, what I'll end up doing is I'll take those brick stairs like I have on all the rest of the roof, is just coming across right through there. Now, as you can see, I reset the time back to daytime, so that way we have a lot more light during the build. And now, there we go. And now, I'm going to end up punching out a hole right there where the door is going to go. And now, I have the second floor almost started. Now, we're going to start building the roof to the floor, the second floor. Now, the second floor roof actually comes out a little bit here. You'll see right there. That's perfect. Because what you'll actually see from the front view, unless you come to the side, is that you won't actually see that roof right there. So I'm going to end up taking that out and just doing that real quick. And that way you guys don't actually see the roof. From the front, it will still look the same. So now I'm going to start building it across and building up these stairs. Now I'm planning on doing a double peak roof. Uh, a double peaked roof. But as I'm going through this, man, I was like, man, where is the middle to this at? I was like, hold on, I gotta count these. So as you can see, I'm counting right here, and I gotta figure out the middle. And I said, hmm, there's the middle. Hmm, no, that's not the middle. So I gotta put it right there. That looks like it's gonna be perfect. Or there, yes, there, yes. Where head originally was actually the correct place. So as you can see, there's a little bit of lag, and that is because my memory card is starting to get full with all the recording that I'm doing. I had a lot of recordings uh, from previous videos still inside my hard drive, and you'll notice it gets really laggy at some points. So as you can see, I'm starting to build this roof, and I'm like, man, this roof is gonna take forever. And which it end up it does, but it looks so good once the finished project is done. So I'm gonna shut up for a little bit and let you guys enjoy this music as I'm building. I'm not gonna really talk too much because I'm still working on this uh, slanted roof. So therefore, I'm just gonna let this uh, video and this music play out so you guys can hear and. Um, this way you guys can enjoy uh, this part of me building. So now I'm going to do a panorama view before I actually cut out. As you can see, it's looking really, really good, I think, personally. This is looking like a really nice little brick house, farmhouse, or farmstead, or whatever you want to call it. And it's looking so good, and I cannot wait to, to show you guys more, of course. So we are almost to the end of the video, believe it or not after this little panorama view. So I'm gonna shut up here shortly, and as I start to build the second peak, second part of the peak roof, we will, um, that's pretty much the end, is gonna be the peaked roof part, is the second part of the peaked roof. As you can see here, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty happy, I got the second floor going, and it's looking really good, I personally think. I cannot believe, actually, how perfect I got this when I started doing this. I was like, man, I was like, man, um, I was like, I was talking to my girlfriend at the time, I was like, I don't think I'm actually going to get this perfect the way I need it to be. And I said, I don't think it's, I think this, this side of the roof is actually going to be shorter than the other side. I honestly thought that. So as I'm building across, as you can see, making this double peak roof, I am going across here. There's not much to say. Really, there is not much to say about this peak roof. It's just basically a nice double peak roof, and basically what I'm going to do is just fill it in with bricks once I'm done. Um, but you get this nice double sloping effect, and it's really awesome looking. And I said to myself, man, I just literally cannot believe I'm sitting here thinking to myself, toggling the downfall because it started to rain. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, Oh my god, is this really going to turn out perfect? Is this really going to turn out the way I need it to? And oh my god, guys, here we go. We got the last, last, last right here. And it is perfect, guys. It is ultimately perfect. So, guys, here we go. We're just going to match this up real quick right here. And as you can see, I'm going to actually have to extend it out just a little bit. But, hey, that does not bother me. As long as it still has that American football goal post area kind of thing going, you know, 
I think it will match perfectly. So as you can see, I gotta actually trim this down, get rid of all this area right here, and fill this in right here. So as you can see, I'm starting to lag a little bit, but guess what? I'm gonna come around and start taking out all the bricks. There we go, starting to lag now. There we go. So now, as you guys can see, this is going to be pretty much the end of the video after this panorama. I got one panorama view coming up, and there we go, guys. So, this is pretty much the end of the video. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this Let's Build. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'd like to thank you all for watching this video of me doing this Let's Build for my farmhouse. So, stay tuned, as there will be more uploaded. I'm thinking every Wednesday, because I'm doing the this stuff so guys thanks for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this let's go so don't forget to leave a like down below don't forget to subscribe down below and don't forget to leave a comment if you think i can do anything better i will listen to you guys so guys i'd like to thank you all for watching and i will see you guys in the next video